Do you know what hot work is and why it's important to understand its hazards and safety precautions? That's what we're going to explore today. Hot work is a term used across a multitude of industries, from construction and welding to shipbuilding and even the food industry. It refers to any task that can generate heat, flames, or sparks. And as you can imagine, this comes with a certain level of risk. With the potential for fires, burns, or even explosions, it's critical to be aware of the hazards linked to hot work. But it's not all doom and gloom. With the right safety precautions in place, hot work can be carried out safely and efficiently. Knowledge is power, and understanding the risks and safeguards associated with hot work is a key step towards a safer workplace. Stay tuned as we delve into the intricacies of hot work, its hazards, and safety precautions. Let's ignite this conversation on a high note, shall we? Understanding hot work hazards is the first step towards fostering a safe work environment. When we talk about hot work, we're referring to any process that can generate enough heat to cause a fire or explosion. This includes welding, brazing, cutting, soldering, drilling, grinding, or any other similar activity. These tasks, while necessary in many industries, are fraught with potential dangers that we need to be aware of. One of the most significant hazards is, of course, the risk of fires and explosions. The heat generated from hot work can easily ignite flammable materials in the vicinity, leading to devastating consequences. Sparks and molten material can fly off and land on combustible substances, causing them to ignite. Even worse, if there are flammable gases or vapors present, an explosion could occur. Burns are another common hazard associated with hot work. Workers can suffer from burns due to direct contact with hot surfaces, molten metal, or sparks. These injuries can range from minor to severe, causing significant pain and potential long-term damage. Eye injuries are also a major concern. The intense light produced during hot work can cause serious damage to the eyes if proper protective eyewear isn't used. Even stray sparks can cause painful and potentially sight-threatening injuries. Exposure to toxic fumes is another risk. Many hot work processes produce harmful fumes that can lead to health issues such as respiratory problems, neurological disorders, and even cancer. Adequate ventilation is crucial to prevent the buildup of these dangerous gases. Lastly, there's the risk of electric shock, especially in welding operations. Improperly grounded equipment or misuse of equipment can result in a potentially fatal electric shock. These hazards are not to be taken lightly. By being aware of them, we can take the necessary steps to mitigate these risks and ensure a safer work environment. Knowing these hazards is essential for implementing effective safety measures. Let's define what we mean by hot work. The term hot work casts a wide net. It refers to any operation that involves open flames, sparks, or that generates enough heat to ignite flammable or combustible materials. This could include activities like welding, flame cutting, soldering, brazing, grinding, or any other process that can cause a fire or explosion by heating materials to their ignition point. It's also worth noting that hot work isn't confined to a specific industry. It's an integral part of operations in many sectors, from construction and manufacturing to the automotive industry, and even in many home DIY projects. Essentially, if the work could potentially spark a fire or cause an explosion, it's classified as hot work. It's clear that hot work is widespread across many industries, making it crucial for us to understand how to do it safely. Safety should never be compromised. Here are 10 essential hot work safety precautions. First and foremost, obtaining a hot work permit is critical. This essential document outlines the scope of the work, potential risks, and the necessary safety measures. It's an agreement between management and the workers that every safety protocol will be strictly adhered to. The second precaution is assigning a fire watch. This is a trained individual whose sole purpose is to monitor the work area for any signs of fire or other hazards. Their vigilance can be a game changer in preventing a minor spark from becoming a catastrophic event. Thirdly, it's vital to clear the area. Remove any flammable materials, combustible debris, or unnecessary equipment from the work zone. This creates a safer environment and reduces the risk of accidental fires. Next, we have the use of protective equipment. 
Workers should be kitted out in fire-resistant clothing, safety goggles, helmets, and gloves. This gear provides an extra layer of protection against heat, sparks, and other hot work hazards. Ensuring proper ventilation is the fifth essential precaution. Adequate ventilation reduces the risk of harmful fumes or smoke buildup, maintaining a healthy and safe work atmosphere. The sixth precaution is inspecting equipment. All tools and machinery should be in good working condition and inspected before use. Regular maintenance can prevent malfunctions that might lead to accidents. Shielding is the seventh safety measure. By employing shielding techniques, workers can prevent sparks or heat from reaching flammable materials or causing harm to bystanders. The eighth precaution is a strict no-smoking policy. Combustibles and open flames are a dangerous mix. A no-smoking policy within the work area is a simple yet effective way to reduce risk. Next up is proper storage. Flammable materials should be stored safely away from the hot work area. This precaution not only prevents accidental ignition, but also keeps the work environment organized and efficient. The tenth and final precaution is emergency preparedness. Every worker should know what to do in case of an accident. Fire extinguishers should be readily available and an emergency evacuation plan should be in place. Remember, when it comes to safety, preparation is key. These precautions are the foundation of any hot work operation and are key in preventing accidents and injuries. Implementing a safe system of work, SOW, is a proactive approach to managing hot work safety. It's about more than just following rules. It's about creating an environment where safety is ingrained in every aspect of the work process. One of the most critical components of a SSOW is a secure work environment. This is not just about physical security, but also about ensuring that the work area is free of potential hazards that could ignite or exacerbate a fire. Safety measures should be in place to control all potential sources of ignition and flammable materials should be removed or protected. Reliable work equipment is another crucial element. Equipment used in hot work should be regularly inspected and maintained to ensure it is in good working order. Any equipment found to be faulty should be immediately taken out of service until it can be repaired or replaced. The use of safe materials in the work setting is also important. Materials that are flammable or that can react dangerously when exposed to heat should be replaced with safer alternatives whenever possible. When this is not possible, additional safety measures should be in place to manage the risks. Competent oversight and management are also key. Managers and supervisors should have a clear understanding of the risks associated with hot work and should be able to effectively communicate these risks to their teams. They should also be able to enforce safety policies and procedures consistently and effectively. Lastly, well-trained workers are an essential part of any SSOW. Workers should be trained not only in the specific tasks they are performing, but also in general fire safety and emergency procedures. They should understand the risks associated with their work and the precautions they need to take to mitigate these risks. In summary, SSOW is not just about ticking boxes, it's about creating a culture of safety where everyone understands their responsibilities and the importance of their role in preventing accidents. A SSOW is a comprehensive approach to managing hot work safety that integrates precautions into daily operations. We've covered a lot of ground today, let's recap. We began by defining hot work as any activity that generates heat, sparks, or open flames. We discussed the potential hazards from fires and explosions to toxic fumes and burns. It's crucial to understand these risks to prevent incidents and maintain safety. We then delved into the 10 essential safety precautions for hot work. These included obtaining a hot work permit, assigning a fire watch, clearing the area using protective equipment, ensuring proper ventilation, inspecting equipment, implementing shielding techniques, enforcing a no-smoking policy, ensuring proper storage, and being prepared for emergencies. We also explored the safe systems of work or SSOBU for hot work, emphasizing the importance of a secure work environment, reliable equipment, safe materials, competent oversight, and well-trained workers. Remember, safety should always be the top priority. Stay safe out there.